how many would agree with Brother Rob in this hour? It's time to shake off the snake. It's time to shake off. Where do you shake the snake off? Into the fire. Someone say into the fire. He can't live in the fire. My God, you've got to be so on fire in this hour. You've got to have such a passion, such a radicalness about you, such a burning passion for the Christ that the snake gets shaken off into the fire. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to share with you in Acts chapter 28 what happened to Brother Paul. He went from being a god to a demon like that. He's like an accountant. You know, an accountant, if they get your money back, you're an easy hero. If you owe money and he don't get your money back, he's a zero. Paul went from a hero to a zero like that. Anyway, if you're new, please subscribe. It'd be an honor. Also, Global Cyber Church, Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York. We're prophesying, preaching, praying. In the comments section, if you need to shake off these demons or this snake, which is demons, into the fire, say, that's me. I need to shake them off. Or hit the Amen button, the Like button, the Thumbs Up, say, Amen, that's me, Acts chapter 28. When they escaped, they found out that the island was called Malta. The natives showed us unusual kindness. They kindled the fire and made welcome because of the rain that was falling. It was cold. Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks, laid them on the fire, and a viper came out because of the heat fastened on his hand. So when the fire, Paul made a fire, a de the demon manifested, it came out of the fire, a viper, a snake, and it's now on his hand. It could probably a poisonous snake, who knows at this point. So this is metaphorical and not just literal, guys. You know what happens when you create the fire and you start to kindle a fire, what happens to manifest. And when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said, no. He's a murderer. He escaped the sea. Justice is done to him. So he's now a zero. He's now a devil. He deserved this. But as he shook the creature off into the fire, come on, someone's got to shake off the viper. Someone's got to shake off that snake. I'm telling you, you got to shake it off. As he shook off the creature into the fire, he suffered no harm. They were expecting he would swell up or fall down dead. But after he looked fine for a while they and saw no harm come, they changed their mind and they said he is a god. God, people are fickle, they're crazy. First they said he deserved it. They weren't able to discern. That Paul was a man of God, a man of faith, and because he made a fire, things started to manifest and erupt and come to, that weren't there prior. He was a man of fire. He was a man of power. Hallelujah. And then he shook the snake off and they says, oh, he's now a God. And Paul's, Paul wasn't a God. He was just a man that pointed people to God. But how many know when you get close to the fire, when you kindle a fire, my God? Things will manifest and start to come that weren't there before. But you've got to learn to shake off the snake. You've got to have the, though the art of, stay, of, of taking that snake and just shaking it right back into the fire where it came from, where it belongs. Hallelujah. My God, I'm praying for your people, God. I'm praying for endurance. I'm praying you to strengthen them, to have grace upon them, Jesus. I'm praying for the grace of God, for endurance. Paul said you have need of endurance so you can finish this race. I'm telling you, you're, not, you can, you're going to finish the race by grace. It's only by grace you will endure to the end. Come on, don't become weary in doing good. If you faint not, you'll reap a harvest in due season. Just shake that snake off. Keep going. Yes, you started a fire. Yes, you became closer to the Lord. Yes, the fire was there. Ha! And you kindled the fire and the devil came and mad of it. But shake it off, saith thy God. Shake it off. Ha! The Lord bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.